Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2, episode 32. Oh my gosh, you sounded a little bit under the weather. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm alright. I've, I've been sick the past couple weeks, sorry about that. So uh, let's go ahead and switch over to Tails. We're doing a Tails stage today. Ah! If you can believe that. <laughs> and unfortunately, it's the same kind of stage as Eggman's uh, no. Iron Hall. This is uh, Prison Lane. No. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I'm saying no, just so it doesn't have to happen. Like a kid at a store who didn't get the toy he wanted. No! There's no real way we can escape either. So <laughs> there's that. Well, actually, there is. What? Whoa! That's. Oh! Oh, you're breaking barriers. It's you're a doing little more open this time around. Just <laughs> a little. You're doing stuff the game doesn't like. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna take a little bit of a breaker on that, uh, <laughs> character swap glitch. We'll do a couple things, but on this stage especially, there's not a whole lot we can do, because there's doors we gotta shoot, places we gotta go, and wouldn't have a whole lot of fun. <laughs> and I'm just thinking, after the fiasco that was playing as Rouge, which was a world ender, uh, I think, uh, I think going with Tails for a little bit might not be, you know, bad for the blood, if you know what I'm saying. Good chaser from the madness that happened last time. Yeah, just imagine like the Rouge stage was like the four horsemen shot, and then this is just like a chaser of Pepsi. Oh, oh. Crystal Pepsi, more like, I think. Right, and by the way, if you ever have a four horsemen shot, don't. It's a bad idea. Well, you tell me about uh, <laughs> the four horsemen shot, because I haven't heard of that, and I'll tell you about my idea for a shot. I think you told me this one. Why don't you go ahead with that while I look up the ingredients? Alright, well, uh, it's just, you know, some Gentleman Jack, some Johnny Walker Black Label, Crown Royal Bourbon, um, wow. let's see, uh, Southern Comfort, that's another one, and then, uh, you add Seagram's B.O. <gasps> you put them together, you call it a really bad idea. No shit. See, I was thinking when I was going to bartending school, I was thinking, you know what? Maybe I could come up with something, because there are liquors and liqueurs that can turn a right drink there white. Is a, right there is one of Tails' upgrades. That's uh, the bazooka that he has right now. Just saying. Okay. Go ahead. I was about to say, there are some drinks that you can turn white and some that you can light on fire. So I was thinking uh, you make a white shot and you light it on fire and you uh, name it after Sands and call it a bad time. I just couldn't think of anything. But anyway, a four horsemen. This is considered the rite of passage. This is what you do to get somebody into the drinking world. It is Jack Daniels, Jim Beam, Johnny Walker, and Jameson. All put together into one shot, and it tastes like ass. It is so bad, but it gets you messed up fast. I think... Did I tell you the story of one guy who said, Yeah, this, this is nothing. And uh, he quickly regretted those words. Uh, no, I, uh, why don't you go ahead and tell that one for all the people at home? <laughs> Out with a few friends, and, uh, we start talking about the Four Horsemen and how much of a badass shot it is. Of course, none of us have tried it. So, a friend of mine, who is actually named after you, I know a lot of your name. But, uh, anyway, he decides, you know, that's, ah, yeah, come on, you're all, you're all a bunch of, bunch of girls, bunch of pussies, let me try that. So, uh, bartender makes him one, and he's like, okay, now, you know what's in this, right? And he's like, I don't care. And then he takes it. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, he, he, uh, he goes, yeah, see, that was, uh, <laughs> and you just see his face go from, like, from, like, cocky to, like, this was a horrible idea. Just immediately, and he just goes, oh, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> okay, now I see it. Now I see it, but you know what? After all that, not that bad. Let me have another one. Oh! And so he we went, oh, God, dude. You are not going to be able to make it back. We're going to have to drive you home. And he's like, yeah, you know what? Again, I didn't feel what I was supposed to feel, so let me have another. And so the bartender actually said, okay, but five-minute break, okay? We're, we're putting this on pause. I give it to you after, like, five minutes. Let it sink in a bit. Yeah. So uh, those those five minutes pass, and this guy's looking like worse and worse. You could just see like, like you know how uh, when people are falling asleep, sitting in their chair or something, like that, they slowly like oh, slowly yeah. eventually uh -huh. go down. He was he was looking like uh -huh. that. He was just like slowly losing at power. He's like a leaking balloon. He just goes oh god. And the bartender was like, okay, here you go, man. And the thing is, uh, 
my friend with your name was paying for all of it, so he's like, I want to see you do it, or else you're paying me back. He's like, okay, fine, fine, I'll do it. So he's looking like, he's like, not, not pale, but he's looking like, I really don't want to do this. He takes it real quick, and then he just goes, It's like a computer powering down. It's just like, oh, oh, oh. Uh, when was his funeral? Because so, I'm assuming this person's dead. Now. <laughs> this, per this, this person with my name. <laughs> no, no, it was one of his friends that was doing oh, it. Oh, okay. Oh, no, the first person with your name was buying everything, and that's oh. why he was like, "You got to do this now." <laughs> he's got a bit of the asshole streak that we all have. The, anyway, this guy. He's powering down, and he's just like, oh, this, this is a horrible idea. So then we go back, and we're like, well, what, did you give him extra? He's like, no, just gave him the exact same thing. We look over, and he's passed out. He is gone. He's sleeping on the bar, and we were just like, okay. So that's some really powerful stuff. Let's, uh, let's not have that. And then we all had a good time while he slept. It was a good Eventually time until after he passed out, you know? <laughs> Actually, we had a pretty good time after he was passed out because he was kind of an asshole, but you know what? That's. <laughs> well, then that was karma. Yeah, at least he had his uh, he had his comeuppance, but yeah, that was really funny. I mean, yeah, we're laughing about it now. He, he's okay, but uh, he will never he will never challenge a uh, drink that sounds threatening ever again. <laughs> I can handle a lot of alcohol, but about the one thing that I can never ever stand is fire water. Fire water. Now, is that different from fireball, or...? Fire water is cinnamon schnapps, 50% uh, 50% alcohol. 100 proof. Oh, man. Yes. Oh, 100 proof? 100 proof. 100 proof <laughs> cinnamon schnapps. God! It will, it will fuck you. It will fuck your wife. <laughs> It will take your children, it will take your job, it will take everything away from you for one night and just immediately make you feel like absolute shit. Now, I wanted to think I'd probably be one of those guys who could actually handle it because I love Fireball, which is cinnamon whiskey. And I think whiskey's a bit more powerful unless I'm thinking of something else. But yeah, I'd actually like to try that sometimes because you had me unintentionally try sake, you jerk. <laughs> I didn't know that was coming. <laughs> You're just like, no, 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 try this. This is fine. Uh, we, we call it sake, but, you know, it's, it's not bad. What? <laughs> okay, okay, was it that crap, like, 7 or $8 sake that I got? It was, like, a big, tall bottle? I, I, th I think so. You gave me the cheap stuff. Because if so, that was, like, like eight years ago or whatever, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta get you some real sake, brother. Okay, okay. Well, we'll uh, maybe we should go to like, a restaurant, and then uh, we'll, we'll try some of the good stuff. Maybe I should give you some hot fuck. Holy sh! Are you kidding me? Maybe I should get you some uh, hot sake because that's the really good stuff. You burn out all the the uh, impurities and all that. But yeah, right. I'm sorry for giving you cold eight dollars <laughs> sake. That's not what a friend should do. <laughs> no, the thing is, you had like the biggest shit eating grin too. You're just doing this. You're like, go ahead, try it. Cause it's not no, that bad. Cause no one ever fucking likes my Japanese shit. <laughs> No one ever likes the well, fucking Japanese bands that I like unless they're in a fucking anime. Then, oh, everybody loves that. I've loved that band forever. You know, I, 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 everybody loves sushi, but nobody wants to try eel. Everybody fucking hates hey, eel. Hey, I've tried everything that you have told me to try, okay? That includes music. That includes Japanese food. Hell, I think you even told me to try wasabi one time, and I answered like an idiot. But, did you, but, but you hated it all, didn't you? No, 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 no. There is actually a lot of stuff that you show me that you, like, have me try. It's actually really good. Uh, sushi and eel being one of them. I tried based on your recommendation and also sake. The good stuff. Yeah. And uh, a lot of the music you show me, I, I can get behind if it's not, like, absolutely silly. <laughs> huh. So, you're well, a beacon for good stuff, okay? I'm, just, I'm the guy who likes Japanese stuff that is... Not popular, even in Japan. <laughs> You're basically the Japanese dumpster diver. I'm, I'm looking for the good stuff. The stuff that's been thrown away by society. He's like, what's up, multi-million dollar J-Rap deals? Nah, I want the guy who's just rapping behind the dumpster. <laughs> and you actually showed me those, those, uh, those one guys who 
They're, they're like rapping about the club or something like that. Well, the chow's around here somewhere. Wait, I thought we were it's, doing uh, the. I thought we were doing the rings. No, we already did the rings. But you gotta be. I thought we. I thought I already did that, did I? Well, I don't know. This is your video. I mean, sorry. Your let's play. <laughs> Now, did I tell you about the one guy who got, like, really mad that he couldn't tell whether we were talking over pre-recorded footage or not? I really can't. That, well, that, it's it's, oh, it's pre-recorded, and, well, <laughs> I guess I am still getting the hundred rings. I know. <laughs> no, probably the funniest thing is, uh, th there was one person who couldn't figure out that Doom was pre-recorded. And the one episode that tipped them off was probably the one that had, like, 20 crossfades. And <laughs> the, the best thing is, I get the comment saying, I really can't tell if this is like if this is live or, or what is this. Two minutes later, there's an edit saying, "I knew I should have waited to finish the episode before commenting on that." <laughs> I was like, "Okay, there you go. You, you got your answer." Because I don't think it's I don't think it's that hard to tell. Or am I just being silly? Well, maybe it's we're that good at the way we present <laughs> our footage. Yes, at, at the way our footage is presented, you know. <laughs> If I may toot my own horn, a lot of people still thinks that uh, Scream Patrick is a real part of one of those Hinako <laughs> riffs. <laughs> Scream Patrick made it all the way to Japan. Yep. And uh, about ten years earlier than expected. Oh my god, I just realized Spongebob is so old. Spongebob... In three years, we'll be 20 years old. Oh, that's disgusting. Like, that cartoon will... has lasted... has outlasted every single one of its peers. It's like, it's... It, it's getting Simpsons level. What is it about yellow in animation that just makes people want to see it forever? Uh, I'm, I'm guessing, like, jaundice is the key word. It's like, you make your characters yellow, and then all of a sudden, it's a winner. Johnny Bravo got rebooted like two, three times, but still couldn't quite... He had the yellow hair, but yeah. not quite, you know. And now he just plays, you know, villainous roles in Raccoon City. I mean, you just can't get work for the guy. I think he's in regular show, too, maybe. Really? I think, maybe. I really? think so. You talking about his actor or actual Johnny Bravo? Because that'd be hilarious. Oh, I'm talking about his actor. Oh, well... I was just making a joke that Johnny Bravo looks exactly like Albert Wesker, and that's after he stopped schmoozing ladies and started causing viral outbreaks. I think that's a more fitting end to the character. Uh, yeah, Al yeah, Albert Wesker, after he discovers the wonderful power of steroids and protein powder. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, you know, maybe this isn't for me. I mean, I've already died once. Maybe I should go back to my mama's house and uh, to deal with all the young chick ladies back at home. Then he looks at all the agents that have uh, bested him over the years. You, know, you have uh, Leon Kennedy, who has Ada and Ashley. You've got Chris, who's got uh, Sheva and Jill, you know. You've got Steve, who's... Um... Well, okay, you have uh, Leon again, who... Uh... <laughs> yeah, just skip over Steve Burnside. Little chucklehead fucker. I'm sorry, Steve. Maybe I'll, I'll feature you tomorrow. <laughs> but hey, fairness is what I'm all about. What game are we going to play? <laughs> all right, now we're on the chow. Now hey, we're on the chow. there we go. Now, <laughs> now it's chow time, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some low main for this chow time. <laughs> hey, I don't care about getting hit either, yay. <laughs> Fuck it. See, okay, this is the... Uh... Can just... Oh, oh. There we go. And... Got it. No way. Okay, that was really cool. I mean, you've had a lot of, like, magic happen, but that was probably the coolest. Stage, stage is all connected, for the most part. Now let's load yeah. the next part. Which I think this elevator is supposed to do, but hey. See, why can't you be a person on the couch at one of the GDQs? Because this is neither a task run nor a speed run. So, so what would you call this? Like a like a fuck around run? I call it a donation incentive. <laughs> you know what? If they actually went the route of action replay and just messed up a game so bad, I'd donate. I donate more. <laughs> All right. 
Whoop. All right, so here's the uh, oh geez, mystic melody thing that just makes a spring that brings you up here. Really? So where's the chow? Oh, oh, yeah, it's always a chow right there. Okay. We're making uh, time though. Uh, ah, of course we did. Okay, good. Be unrealistic to expect more of you than that. Oh, just imagine it. And and you went through walls. Just imagine if you actually had to get it in that small amount of time. What's That'd be ridiculous. Well, let's it's see how small a time we have to do it in. 30 minutes. Three minutes. Oh. Well, that's not too bad. Especially when you're phasing through walls. Still can't escape, though. We're gonna have to see if we can't do this as fast as possible in another way. Oh, what's over here? Oh, hey! Huh. Never knew that was there. Well, cool. Learning something new. Oh, dear lord. Yeah, hey, so kit. All right. <laughs> so fast. <laughs> I don't think I can handle the fast. Far so good. All right. <laughs> Just blazing through this level. So Do we need to add anything. I mean, no, really? I'm just thinking. Like, we already gave we already gave Tails the the persona of like a storm chaser slash thrill seeker, but he's like really scared of all of it because he's afraid of dying. So what if he's also like he's got an, like an itchy trigger finger as well? Like, he, he shot a deer once, and maybe that was his best friend, and so he's never been the same again. So then, whenever he gets a gun or anything that can shoot bullets or missiles or whatever he's got here, he just suddenly becomes a maniac and starts shooting all over the place. And I told you about my idea for uh, a future Sonic. Yeah, go you ahead. Know, like, all the characters age 10 years. Sonic is still his, of course, his typical kind of, Yeah, yeah, all right, man, let's go fast, yeah. Yeah, chili dogs, yeah, all right. Here you go. So he, go, he goes over to Tails' house, he's age 10 years. You know, he's, he's, he's got a doctorate, uh, he's a physics professor and all that. He's like, <laughs> all right, Tails, you ready to go and beat Dr. Eggman? You stop the nuke from hitting the city? And uh, Tails just looks at him and is like, yeah, sure, Sonic, okay. He's kind of like stoic and everything, like nothing interests him anymore just because he's seen and done and all. He's won like, he's won all the accolades and he's just thinking, you know what, maybe, maybe this science thing wasn't the way to go. Jesus. A little fun with the size, why not? There we go. Hey, you've got time. Boing, boing, boing. Or at least I hope. And you can change size as you're doing that too. <laughs> And boom. I did it, Sonic! Noise. I did it, Sonic, who's not here. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, it's great, Tails. It's great. Good job. <laughs> what if... Okay. Really interesting what thought. We so we've got, we've got all these thought processes for Tails. He's got right. all these you know, things, you know, he's he's really good at mechanics and everything, but what if one day he woke up and all of a sudden realized that Sonic was never actually there, and then he was all in his head. It's boring! It's crazy banger! Don't do that stupid, dumb shit! <laughs> okay, but, but think about it. He <laughs> was never there all along! Dick! I'm thinking, like, one day, Tails just really wanted a friend, so his, his messed up psyche, after doing all these, like, terrible things, just suddenly gave him a friend in the form of Sonic, somebody to compete against. And it just becomes a extremely sad tale of a fox boy who has no friends and no life. Boring and stupid. Rejected. Here's something better. Sonic is actually holding Tails back. Didn't we already say, like, Sonic was Tails' limiter? Yep, yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's like the ultimate power resides within Tails. Who needs Super Sonic when you got Miles Tails' power? He goes the same speed as Sonic, pretty much, except he can fly. Oh my god. Tails doesn't even need Sonic. Sonic needs him. <laughs> okay, so here, here's a plot twist for you. What if every major, like, enemy that has been defeated by Sonic, it was actually Tails who did it? So, so like, when Chaos was rummaging through the city and Super Sonic was going around and hitting him, it was actually Tails who shot the last, like, explosive blow dart or something like that in the back of Chaos's neck and killed him? They call me Miles Kill Steel Prower. Tails, you kill stealing fuck! How dare you! Solo XP for me, Sonic. <laughs> you should have collected more rings. 
it's like a what was it the time eater in sonic generations like he's finally defeated and you just see tails in the background going snipe <laughs> I really like the fact that we're giving Tails all these, like, horrid personalities when really he's supposed to be, like, a good kid. I still like his Storm Chaser persona. I don't know how that happened, but okay. <laughs> no, I love it too. He's just like, he's always in it for the thrill, but he's always afraid of dying. See, I just think that Tails just needs to age a bit. They make him a little bit older. Maybe give him, like, a son or a little brother or something to Isn't take on the new, I don't know. <laughs> Isn't that what Sonic Boom is for, though? No. I mean, he's like, he's older. Everybody's older. They've got attitude. Look at Knuckles. He's like, he's ripped. Look at that dude. Uh, uh, Knuckles is not ripped. He is wrapped. I'm sorry. I mean, I didn't know becoming a rapper gave you a full 12 pack and turned you into like a big muscle bound doofus. But maybe that, well, yeah, that does well, explain yeah, man. a lot, actually. You ever see any tiny, skinny guys rapping? Only in Japan, <laughs> from the videos you show me. <laughs> you got a bunch of little white boys t talking about their favorite r favorite ramen shop and how they go buy groceries every Tuesday. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we talk about eating granola bars. Yeah. Mitsuyobi, <laughs> miseoita. Kaimono Kaimono ga kaita! I really hope you put a visual example as to, as to what we're talking about. <laughs> Just some example. It doesn't even have to be the ones you showed me. Just an example of a uh, very, uh, very interesting foreign rap. Uh, very modest and, uh. <laughs> frugal! Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. I like it. All right, so I changed characters to Sonic. Oh, good. So, if our Dark Chow, if Shithy didn't like his caretakers, are they going? Is our is our good guy Dejume going to like his caretakers? Dejume normally likes his. Okay, good. Because again, Shithy was abused for a lot. <laughs> It's like toddlers and tiaras. You, know, you beat the kid enough, they'll win. No worries. So here are the eggs that we're going to be using in order to uh, get our chows. You but would give me an egg. We are still accepting names. Hurry, though, because there's not much time left. <gasps> How much time is there? You got until next week when I capture more footage. When I start getting more footage, that's Whoa. when I'm going to do the chows. But Whoa. hey. You give me those chow names, you. All, all you. Maybe, maybe less from for for the one that I'm gonna do nothing to. How about one that uh, is gonna be super powerful? The one I'm gonna fuck with, and hmm. one I'm just gonna do nothing but abuse. So do, one I'm do nothing. <laughs> one I'll do nothing but buff. One I'll do nothing but abuse, and one I'll do nothing to. <laughs> uh, so one called mistake, one called brawly, and one called Krillin. I got it. They really did do nothing with Borelli, didn't they? <laughs> yes. I think the, the only thing worth noting is he yelled Kakarot really loud and then... Pfft, nothing. He, he, was, he was my favorite Dragon Ball Z villain. You kidding me? The, the idea of a legendary Super Saiyan's like, he's not just Super Saiyan. Like, he's like one of them old Super Saiyans. You're like, you know, OG Super Saiyan. And didn't he also, like, constantly gain power? Like, he was the one that he never lost power. He only gained well, that's what all Saiyans do. Every time that they achieve oh. near death, they get more power. So, bro, he's always ah, he's fucking ah. No, I thought like he could like constantly power up. I thought he was one of those that could continuously power up. And then they brought him to Earth, and then a couple of kids beat him up, and then <laughs> well, actually he actually that's not true. He beat up a couple of kids, and then the kids were like, "Oh no, he's gonna beat us up!" And then Goku is like, "Hi, <laughs> bye." <laughs> Damn it, Goku! You ruined everything. And then there's Bio Broly, which... <laughs> uh, so Broly, and they really got to fix him a bit. <laughs> hey, if there's the if there's a chance of another movie, we could have Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, go up against a brand new Broly. 
to go up against Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Broly. Holy shit! That would be awesome! It's like two of their punches collide and it creates a brand new galaxy. That would be cool! There should be a Super Saiyan form that goes so out of control that it becomes the ending to Akira. <laughs> wow! It's like, just That's really crazy. Your body just keeps expanding into new limbs and new organs, and it just keeps going, and you can't control yourself, and then it's just... You your like... body becomes unstable, and it just blows up. You, know. you just you just like grow extra appendages that can shoot that can shoot energy beams. It suddenly becomes a Sura's wrath, which you know what? Put those two together, that'd be interesting. Yeah, the ending to Akira is disgusting. What game uh, are we going yeah. to play? Choose a character. All right, uh, let's uh, have a little bit of fun with Tails because uh, he hasn't had a chance to shine in the Chao world yet. Okay. What kind of fun things you can do with him? What can we do with Tails? Within the realm of possibility. Oh, wait, he has had a chance to go into the child world. Let's just have more fun with him. Okay. Can you, can, can you collide into your chows by going too fast? I haven't yet, no. Okay. Oops. <laughs> whoa! Oh, wow. Whoops. Whoa, whoa. Ah! Those door people were expecting you! I think I went so fast the music didn't load properly. Uh-oh. Yeah, the music's gone. It's softer, almost. It doesn't know what to do! What did you do?! Something bad. <laughs> so, hey! More bad stuff next time on Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2. Okay, cool. I know what to expect now. Or do I? <laughs>